Hey everybody, welcome to the make the most of your AirPods and how to use them properly video. In this video, I'm going to go over some AirPods best practices and inform or possibly remind you of just what your AirPods can actually connect to and even do. So stay tuned. The first thing every AirPods owner should do, if they haven't already, is turn on Find My iPhone. Sounds strange, but Find My iPhone is really powerful and not only helps you find your iPhone if it's lost, but also any additional Apple products you may have, including your AirPods. I talk about this more in my video, Find Your AirPods. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out. But long story short, turn this feature on if you haven't already. Once the feature is on for your iPhone, it automatically turns on for your AirPods and can be a huge help if they're ever lost or stolen. Once you've looked after turning on Find My iPhone and they're paired with all of your Apple devices, you might consider setting them up with other devices as well. I've spoken to a number of people that didn't seem to know that your AirPods will also function as basic Bluetooth headphones as well and can be used on many non-Apple devices such as Android phones and tablets, TV boxes, and even most Windows computers with newer Bluetooth adapters. If you'd like to learn how to connect your AirPods to a Windows computer, you can check out my video, How to Set Up AirPods on a Windows 10 Computer. I'll leave a link in the description below if you'd like to check that out. And for those with an Apple TV, as of the newest round of OS updates for iOS 11, the AirPods should now auto-sync to the Apple TV just like they would for any other Apple device, such as your Apple Watch or Mac. The next thing you should look at after getting your AirPods set up is the AirPods settings or options, so you can customize how they work. By default, they invoke Siri on double tap, but you can customize those options and set up the double tap of both the right and left AirPod individually to play pause, go to next track, previous track, or even just turn off the double tap feature altogether if for some reason you don't like that feature. Unfortunately, there is currently no way to adjust the volume on double tap without using Siri. But you can of course use the volume buttons on your iPhone, or as I have explained in some previous videos, you can also use the now playing app on your Apple Watch to control music playback from your iPhone. I most recently discussed this in my video AirPods with WatchOS 4. I'll leave a link to it in the description below if you'd like to learn more about that. Also, I'd like to remind everyone that the AirPods can be used for more than just interacting with Siri or listening to content like music, videos, or podcasts. You can not only use them for telephone conversations as well, but you can also use them to answer, hang up, or even switch to another call with the double tap. See how handy they are? There are a couple of best practices I'd like to point out to people that seem obvious after you're told, but are things people never seem to think about. First, I'd like to remind everyone to always keep the contacts on the bottom of the AirPods and in the base of the tubes, in the case, clear and clean of debris. Remember, this is how they charge, so if they get really dirty, the contacts will become obstructed and they either won't charge or will charge poorly, and you'll realize a big drop in the battery life of your AirPods. I find if I try to clean them once every month or two, I don't run into any issues, but I've lost count of the number of people I've talked to that were complaining about how bad their battery life had become on their AirPods. And then after telling them to clean the contacts, the problem magically went away, with their AirPods getting around 5 hours of battery life again. Also remember to charge your AirPods regularly. I find with my usage, I just charge the case twice a week and I never really have to worry about the battery level. And a final tip to get the most out of your AirPods, remember to try to keep them in the case on a regular basis when not in use. This not only keeps your AirPods charged, but also makes them less likely to become lost. And if lost, is easier to find as the case is larger than the AirPods, making them easier to find if lost. Anecdotally, the only people I know that have ever lost their AirPods are mostly people that don't keep them in the case. So just a tip to consider. Well everybody, those were my tips for make the most of your AirPods and how to use them properly. Do you have any tips you think I've missed? If so, let us know in the comments below. And if you enjoyed this video or found it helpful, feel free to give it a thumbs up. And while you're down there, don't forget to subscribe to the channel for more tech videos, including tech how-tos, every week. As always, thanks for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.